it's me boo and i'm back for the final and last time for this list um and this is my favorite top 20 <clears throat> amber and vanilla fragrances for 2012 fall 2012 and these are my top five so well these are actually my top four but honestly number one i had one vanilla and one amber so there's five fragrances left so my official number four is incredible. And this is Organza Indecence by Givenchy. This I can't say enough about. It's expensive, but man, it's worth it. This is just this delightful, kind of a warm, almost woody vanilla. And it projects well for me. It lasts really well for me. Um, let me see what everyone else says. Uh, the indecence in the name of this organza exactly describes the character of the black organza. The bouquet is composed of woodsy and spicy notes, cinnamon, patchouli, musk, and amber. The fragrance is intensive, sharp, even in the beginning, yet softly sensual and erotic. It was created in 99. See if anybody says it smells similar. Everybody says it projects. Well, most people say it's a heavy projector or heavy on the sillage and lasts a really long time, and I agree. Some people, a couple people say it smells similar to Les Parfums Mythiques by Organza, or Organza Indecence by Givenchy. I haven't smelled that flanker, so I couldn't tell you, but I can tell you that this is one of my favorites. It can go on several lists, a woody list, a sweet list almost a spicy list. I almost put it on my spicy list, but I just, it had to be in my vanilla and amber list. It's just too incredibly good. It's not quite gourmand, but it almost is. And almost like a lem uh, vanilla cake is being cooked in a stove out in the middle of the forest. I mean, it's just incredible. I can't see enough about that. And that's my number four. Organza Indecence by Givenchy. Let's see. Uh, number three, I'm not going to do anything, um, do a mini review on or anything, because I, I talk about it a lot. And that is Ombre by L'Occitane and Provence. Fabulous juice. I mean, I just got this um, a couple months ago, and look how much I've used love it oh man this is just an incredible amber um, it projects fairly well um, it lasts well it's inexpensive this bottle I got at the L'Occitane store at Kings Court on the Big Island of Hawaii and it cost me like 45 bucks and this is like three ounces or something I don't even know two and a half so totally worth it, totally affordable, and that's Ombre by L'Occitane and Provence. Oh, I gotta sniff it. Oh man, it just takes me right back to the islands. La 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 la. So next, of course, this isn't going to be any big surprise what my number three is, except for the fact that you guys may be surprised it's number three after all the hoopla and the freaking out and the love affair I'm still having an affair but I have more of a harem of perfumes that I'm having an affair with now I'm I don't want to tie myself down to one relationship with one lover fragrantically and my number three is Ombre Narguila by Hermes from the Hermesence line oh it's still just an incredible kind of a spiced apple pie smell. It is yummy to the yummy degree. And this one, most of the Hermes line, I don't think lasts very well. I have tried all of them. Hermes is awesome. If you, um, I don't know if they'll do that in every country, but in the U.S. they, they will send you free samples. I told them I um, had tried a few of them, but I was really interested in the rest of the line and they just sent them to me, the entire rest of the line. I told them I'd smelled Ombre Nargil, Nargila, uh, Vetiver Tonka, and uh, Osmanthi Yunnan, and that was it. 
of the ones that I'd smelled from the line and they sent me all the rest of them for free. It was amazing. I have since passed those on. I don't believe in selling free samples to people. I prefer to give them away, you know, spread the love, pass it on, pay, pay it forward kind of thing. So anyway, my girl, Ombre Nagila, she's still one of my favorites. She's just dropped down a little bit and she is at my number two. Did I say number three before? I guess I'm confused because I have two for my top one and my number one. So anyway, this is my number two, is Ombre Nargila by Hermes from the Hermes line. Now I'll start with um, my favorite amber, and I've already talked about it quite a bit. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'm just doing these vids, but I will um, definitely talk about it some more because OMG, wow. My favorite, Amber Absolute by Tom Ford. Enough said. This is, a, to me, a spicy woody amber. It is a beast. Now, this is the way it's supposed to be done for projection, sillage, longevity. This is how it should be done. I have two of these decant bottles, and these will last me forever because two sprays, bam, I'm good. And I layer with this one. I love layering it, actually, with my other numero uno. And with some others, Tobacco Vanilla, I've la layered it with um, uh, just, you know, any other amber or vanilla or, you know, sometimes a floral I'll layer it with. But a lot of times I just want to smell this and nothing but this Amber Absolute by Tom Ford from the private collection. And let me tell you a little bit about it. <clears throat> Launched in 07, the fragrance features amber, incense, vanilla, alibinum, labdanum, and woody notes. And I totally get all of that. It is not really complicated, but at the same time, it is olfactorily complex and yummy, and it's a beast, and it's worth every stinking penny, in my opinion. I love it. I will, this is one of those that I will have in my collection from now on. No matter how much I'm gonna have to pay for it in 10 years. I'm still going to have some, and that's one of my number ones, Amber Absolute by Tom Ford. My number one vanilla, um, thanks to Tom Barber turning me on to this one, I am nutsoid out of it, over it, and he is so right. This is Vaniglia del Madagascar by Annunziata SS, no, Pharmacia Annunziata. I think I'm low on the blood. I think I need to go out and drain a neighbor or something. I'm having issues concentrating. <sighs> Start from the beginning. This is Vaniglia del Madagascar by Pharmacia SS Annunziata. Bang! Caught it right. Oh, <laughs> and this is just the yummiest of yummy vanillas. I have found that Madagascar vanilla, when it's added to a fragrance, it just gives it this richness, this this sweetness without being too sweet. It's just a little sweet. It's not too sweet. Totally unisex. Projects awesome. Lasts awesome. Siage is awesome. I can't say enough about this fragrance. Let me tell you a little bit what the notes are. And I have a buttload of these decant so I will be getting a full bottle of this. This will be another one I will not be without in my collection from now on. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'll just go to the notes here. Um, it has floral notes, Amalfi, Lemon, Amber, and Vanille. And I know that it, it's actually Madagascar Vanilla and it's also got some Amber in there. So it it does have just a slight tang from the lemon and the flowers though i don't smell a whole lot of flowers in this i just smell a, a slight citrusy spicy lemon and it is amazing another one that's worth every penny and my other number one is vaniglia del madagascar by pharmacia ss annunziata so seriously um 
everybody be really safe this Halloween. And I hope everybody on the East Coast stays dry and is safe over there. I worry about my friends over there. I've become very fond of a lot of you over there. So you guys be safe. And I hope to hear from you soon. All right. Happy Halloween.